Good morning, middle school friends. This is Thursday, March 19th. It is also known as Act Happy Day. This is day number 138 of the school year, 38 days remaining in the school year, 25 days until Resurrection Sunday, and our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, could be coming any day. There are no birthdays to celebrate today. I have several coming up. We'll hold off on those and uh, celebrate with these young folks in the days ahead. Quick riddle for you this morning. I know these are corny, but anyway, it might make you smile. Why are frogs so happy? Answer, because they eat what bugs them. Your quote for today, doing something that is productive is a great way to get rid of emotional stress. Get your mind doing something that is positive. In these days that we're at home and during our studies and contemplating the things of life, uh, please remember that you have to do something productive and you have to be completely active in all that you're doing in order to make these days pass quickly and use them to God's glory. We'll complete Psalm 91 this morning for part of our devotional time, beginning in verse 10 of Psalm 91. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague or disease Come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. We learn from the Old Testament prophecy in Daniel that the God who protected Daniel from the lions in that den is the same God who will protect you and your family from sickness and disease. The word of the day is omniscient, omniscient. You remember the last couple of days, we've talked about the all-powerful, omnipotent God. We've talked about the all-present, omnipresent God. Today, we speak of God in terms of knowing everything, having a perfect awareness of all things. The omniscient God has complete knowledge and most importantly, and to comfort our souls this morning, nothing escapes his understanding. I've been able to arrive early at Hickory Grove the last several days, and uh, I walked through an empty building. I walked through the halls on the middle school area, and the lockers are closed. Uh, the doors to your classrooms are closed. The seats in your, the desks in your classrooms do not have anyone sitting in them, obviously. So all through the cafeteria, and I remember the uh, happy sounds that come from there during middle school lunch, and I can almost see Mr. Honeycutt and Mr. Turner interacting with you guys during lunchtime. And seeing your smiling faces, yes, it's uh, not really happy to see an empty building, but we know the presence of God is here. And I look for the fact that one day, and very soon, I hope it's very soon, that these buildings will once again be filled with the sounds of happy people. Happy because not only they've been able to return to the, the buildings that they've come to love as their school, that they can interact with their friends yet again, but that the presence of God and his power has allowed us to return. And because of the lifting of this pandemic and this uh, horrible uh, global situation that we're going through right now, that God will deliver us from that. That's where I get hope. As I walk the halls and I pray for you guys, I want you to know that uh, you are in my thoughts and prayers each and every day. Over the last weekend, I, I've uh, reconnected with a friend that I had not seen in quite some time. He's a very gifted artist and craftsman. One of the things that he does is soap carving. He shared with me that there's only one type of soap that can be used using a pocket knife to craft some of the things that he's put together. I asked him what he had done lately, and he showed me a couple of things and actually gave them to me. 
I want to share them with you this morning as I can hold them in front uh, so that you can see them very clearly. These obviously are pictures of our Lord. Notice that one has eyes open and one has eyes closed. I don't know the significance of that. I'll have to think through that a little bit more. But he sits at his recliner, and it takes him five hours with a simple pocket knife to carve these. What a great gift. He also has the gift of uh, using a chainsaw to do the same thing with stumps of wood. What a great opportunity we have to share the gospel with things like this, and this is exactly what my friend does. So as you look upon these figures today, and you see the open and closed eyes of our Lord to know that he never slumbers nor sleeps. He's always there for us. He always watches us. Even in times like this, he becomes more important for each and every believer to draw close to him and to realize that he is there for our comfort and our solace during times of difficulty. Thank you, my friend, for giving me these gifts. I'm sure they're going to sustain me in the days ahead. Please remember the things we've talked about before. Rise early in the morning. Please get up. It's great to spend time with God alone in these early mornings. The uh, shopping malls are not crowded. The restaurants, you can only go to pick up your food. Please be reminded also that there are people out there who have basic needs. There are people right now who are struggling to find meals. There are people who don't know where their next paycheck might be coming from. There are people who have lost their jobs, and there are others out there who are struggling in many, many ways. We're here to serve here at Hickory Grove. We want to make sure that you know that we're here to help you in any way that we can. If there's things that are going on in your life that we need to be sharing with others, that you need some kind of help or a hopeful touch from the master's hand, we'll be more than happy to help with uh, any of those kinds of issues you're dealing with. Please be careful in terms of making sure that you get your work. I have been calling some to make sure that you're on board, that you're taking care of your responsibilities there. I know it's tough. I know there are other things going on in your life. But this will be a great diversion for you if you get that work done. It'll make you feel better about yourself as you go about your day. Please know that there are no demerits being given out. There is no lunch lab that I've seen on the last several days and there's no PTR, but you're still accountable for doing the kind of things that we hope you're doing with a smile on your face and with the hope that one day you'll not see your teachers from a distance, but you'll see them face to face in your classroom once more. Last Thursday at chapel, we had a very powerful message from Mike Powers. But in the elementary chapel, which none of you actually attended, we, at, we had the first graders who sang a song that is very happy and hopeful. I am not a singer, but I did help them to sing that day a song that I'm going to leave you with this morning. I'll only sing its chorus, not the whole thing. Please don't laugh. I'm doing the best that I can. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in Jesus. He's my Lord. He's my God. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in Jesus. All my hope is in him alone. Please remember those words and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.